John Henrik Clark Powerful people cannot afford to educate the people that they oppress, because once you are truly educated, you will not ask for power. You will take it. Whoever is in control of the hell in your life, is your devil. History is not everything, but it is a starting point. History is a clock that people use to tell their political and cultural time of day. It is a compass they use to find themselves on the map of human geography. It tells them where they are, but more importantly, what they must be. Powerful people cannot afford to educate the people they oppress, because once you are truly educated, you will not ask for power you will take it. John Henrik Clark, Africans at the Crossroads, African World Revolution I only debate my equals. All others, I teach. Every single thing that touches your life, religious, socially and politically, must be an instrument of your liberation or you must throw it into the ash can of history. I only debate my equals. All others, I teach. Les autres leaders de l'époque supplié en chuan nous les entrées dans la maison de l'oppresseur, Malcolm Malcolm X, Louis, nous de se de construire notre propre maison. I do not think the African, Caribbean, and blacks have studied to any degree and depth and seriousness the rise of modern Japan. Went into a war and loss. They sustained two atomic bombs. Had their country occupied. Now the people who defeated them are now begging them for commercial space. What did they do, that we have forgotten how to do? They did some serious astute planning. Not loud mouthing, not boasting. They did not get on the radio or any platform or call them any names, but they did what they had to do. If we are carrying out a well-designed plan for liberation any literate person can contribute and share leadership. So if the leader dies while you are on page 13 move to page 14 and continue the struggle. Bury the man, continue the plan. I think any person who calls themselves a leader, preacher, policy maker of any kind, should ask and answer the question in his own lifetime, how will my people stay on this earth? How will they be educated? How will they be schooled, and how will they be housed and how will they be defended? The answers to these questions will create the concept of enduring nationhood, because it creates the concept of enduring responsibility. The first thing that the Europeans did was to laugh at the African gods. Then they made the Africans laugh at their own gods. Europeans would go on F.O. colonists the world. They not only colonists the world, they would also colonists information about the world and that information is still colonist. When you look at the Western hero and how he became a hero, when you look at all those people they called, the great and find out what they were great for, you will then have a new concept of history. Poem Determination by John Henrik Clark my feet have felt the sands of many nations. He was born John Henry Clark on January 1, 1915, in Union Springs, Alabama III the youngest child of John Clark, a sharecropper, and Willie Ella Clark, a washerwoman, who passed away in 1922-4. With the hopes of earning enough money to buy land rather than sharecrop, his family moved to the closest mill town in Columbus, Georgia. Counter to his mother's wishes for him to become a farmer, Clark left Georgia in 1933 by freight train and went to Harlem, New York as part of the great migration of rural blacks out of the south to northern cities. There he pursued scholarship and activism. He renamed himself as John Henrik, after rebel Norwegian playwright Henrik Ibsen, and added an E to his surname, spelling it as Clark V. He also joined the U.S. Army during World War II. Clark was heavily influenced by Cheek and Tatiop, which inspired his piece The Historical Legacy of Cheek and Tatiop, his contributions to a new concept of African history. Clark believed that the credited Greek philosophers gained much of their theories and thoughts from contact with Africans, who influenced the early Western world. Clark was a professor of Black and Puerto Rican Studies at Hunter College of the City University of New York from 1969 to 1986, where he served as founding chairman of the department. 
He also was the Carter G. Woodson Distinguished Visiting Professor of African History at Cornell University's Africana Studies and Research Center 6. Additionally, in 1968 he founded the African Heritage Studies Association and the Black Caucus of the African Studies Association. By the 1920s, the Great Migration and Demographic Changes had led to a concentration of African Americans living in Harlem. A synergy developed among the artists, writers, and musicians and many figured in the Harlem Renaissance. They began to implement supporting structures of study groups and informal workshops to develop newcomers and young people. Clark taught at the New School for Social Research from 1956 to 1958-10 traveling in West Africa in 195,859, he met Kwame Kruma, whom he had mentored as a student in the U.S. 11 and was offered a job working as a journalist for the Ghana Evening News. He also lectured at the University of Ghana and elsewhere in Africa, including in Nigeria at the University of Ibadan 12. Clark's first marriage was to the mother of his daughter Lily, who died before her father, dot 12 they divorced. In 1961, Clark married Eugenia Evans in New York, and together they had a son and daughter, Enzing Hamari and Sonny Kojo 12 the marriage ended in divorce. In 1997, John Henrik Clark married his longtime companion, Sybil Williams 1314 he died of a heart attack on July 16. 1998, at St. Luke's Hospital in New York City when he was buried in Green Acres Cemetery, Columbus, Georgia 15. 1985 Faculty of the Africana Studies and Research Center at Cornell University named the John Henrik Clark Library after him 16. 2002 Molify Keita Santi listed Dr. John Henrik Clark as one of his 100 greatest African Americans 17. 2011 Immortal Technique includes a short speech by Dr. Clark on his album The Martyr. It is track 13, which is entitled The Conquerors. Thank you and be well.